Yo guys, what is up everyone? Nine Ten New here. And today, this is probably the most exciting video I've ever done on this channel. Because I got something really cool and retro. A Nintendo 64. Yes, the Nintendo 64. Um, so yesterday was my birthday party. Um, and the other day was the seventh was my birthday and um yeah I opened all my present it was in like a shoe box and I opened it I was like ooh I got a pair of shoes and when I opened it this was in there but not just this a Nintendo um I'm guessing this was the atomic uh purple edition because there's like one N64 where it's the, black, the regular black N64 with a gray controller and the atomic purple controller. I um, also have the super memory card with it. Um, now, about the N64 remote, um, it's kind of like the GameCube uh, remote. But this one, when you plug it in, it's just upside down. GameCube one was like this, N64 was like this. So this is really cool. Um, have the um, analog stick, A, B, start, these buttons, a D-pad, and a trigger button on the back here. Uh, this is really cool. It's uh, the atomic purple. You can see through it. Really cool. It's nice and stiff. So, yeah. Got the uh, super memory card. was like a memory card for the Nintendo 64. No, it does not go in there. It goes in the um, remote, actually. It goes in this way. Pop it in there. And boom. Um, so put that right there. Now, um, we also got the composite cables right here. So I have a GameCube next to my TV, so I'm going to have to switch them out if I want to play with N64 or the GameCube. And we also got the, uh, power, uh, cord. Um, so basically of what this does. You pop it into the back of the um, 64 over here. And then you plug in the power. This. Now, obviously, and I ain't playing the N64 without a game. And I have Star Fox 64. Now today I'm probably going to buy Mario 64. Because I have 81 dollars. So, and I believe I saw one on Wish or something. Not Wish. Uh, some website I forgot. For um like 25 dollars. So yeah. I got Star Fox. And now let's plug this thing in. Um, and we'll, I'll do video setting it up with you guys. Alright, so here's the N64. We take this uh, power adapter and we stick it in the back right here. Alright. Now I'm going to put this under the table. And then we plug it into um, here. Try to do this with one hand. Here we go. Now it's able to power on. Now we can't play it like that. We of course need some. Here it is. Composite cables, and then we're gonna put it. Um, to here, this took me a while to find, put it into here under the Nintendo, um, services helpline, 
I don't know if you guys can see it right there. Plug it in. And then we plug these into the back of the TV. Good thing I have, it's not an old TV, but it's old enough to have the composite cords. Put it the corresponding colors, red. Oh, it's kind of hard to move with one hand. Put this down real quick. Oh wow, where did they go over oh, there? Red. White. And yellow. So right there. And then obviously we need a controller and a game. So there's the 64. Gotta get this out the way. Star Fox 64. I'm gonna get Mario 64 soon. Things are massive. Push it in there. We take the N64 controller and we plug it in here. Now again it's kind of like the GameCube but um, this one goes in like this and that one in the GameCube goes in like this. I like how it has like the dots, player one, player two, player three, player four. Now we turn on the TV. And then, hmm. there we go. Wasn't pushed in all the way. That's a super squeak. Ooh. Nintendo 64. Oh, this isn't the startup for the Nintendo 64. This is for the game. Oh, God. Sorry, guys. I got a new phone. iPhone 7 Plus. It's super huge. And then we'll play it with the remote. Alright. Star Fox 64, 1997. Press start. Start button's right here. This is the first start button that I've seen that big. Oh, we use analog stick. I hold mine like this, especially in Star Fox 64, it's hard holding it like this. So you also need to press this. It's like, it can't even reach it. So I hold it directly in the middle. Main game. Start with the Spirit Planet. Do my best. Andros won't have his way with me. 
And don't worry guys, when I when I get Mario 64, I will do a review on it. And it, um, if I, if I remember, I keep it in the packaging and do an unboxing for it. Open the wing. Okay, I already played this bit. Two-barrel. Slippy, get back here! Slippy, walk out! Don't be on your tail! Whoa! Help me! Alright. Those are the brakes. We're entering Corneria City now. So yeah, this is Star Fox. Pretty good game. Really fun. Oh crap. Oh god. I'm not to get used to this controller. Boom. We'll just do this for a bit more. I'll take this one. Get the one behind me. Yo, I'm trying. Thank you. Do a barrel roll. Oh, he said it. Transformers. Are those the Sonic rings? <laughs> Try to play it like this so you can see some controller action. This is what it's like. I don't know if you guys see if the camera quality is better because I got. I'm going to crush you. See, I was using an iPhone 5 at the start. Yeah. So yeah, let me know if uh, the camera quality is better. I'm trying to. Ah, crap. No, please. I don't want that. Oh! I didn't see you said to pull it down. Alright guys, so I think that'll be the end of this video um, for the N64 
I really love this. This is a really nice part of my collection. Um, so yeah. Um, let me know if you guys have an N64. Um, because now I do. My parents used to play with this. Once I get Mario 64, my mom's probably going to be playing with it. Because she loved that game when she was a kid. She would play it all the time. And I feel like Mario 64 is the best Mario. Like, I know people say Mario Odyssey is, but I just think Mario 64 is the best. It is something that creates something new for Mario. So, yeah. <clears throat> um, so, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Um, again, let me know if the camera quality is better. Because, again, I have the 7 now. 7 plus right there. And it's pretty big. Yes, I'm an iPhone user. Um, so yeah, uh, thank you guys for watching. Um, please comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye!